The conversation with the Deputy Minister was efficient. We discussed the, all, the very wide agenda of bilateral uh, uh, track, digital transformation, human assistance. Of course, I briefed the Deputy Minister about the military situation, which is quite difficult, and the reality where Ukrainians live when 10,000 of Ukrainians have been killed. These are civilians. When the, when the civilian infrastructure has been damaged and broken and by the missiles attacks. So I think it was an important conversation, and we hope that our political dialogue would be much more intensified. And I also invited the Deputy Minister to pay his visit in Kiev for the political consultations that we are supposed to have. Thank you. Ma'am, ma did, ma did, ma ma did, ma did you urge Vishwa Guru support in uh, ongoing crisis in U Ukraine? And uh, will you invite Prime Minister Modi to visit yeah. Ukraine? Yes, the invitation is there. My president uh, will also do so in case if the phone conversation will take place and we request this phone conversation. I think that India as a global player really is a Vishwa Guru of the world. And this is what we also have feel in Ukraine by actually fighting for the values. This is about justice because the war that we have is not about NATO, it's not about the United States, it's about justice because Russia has been questioning the very existence of my country. Within our history of 1,500 years, Ukraine never attacked any other country like your country. We never had has this imperialistic and chauvinistic attitudes towards our neighbors. So I think it's for us it's, it's crucial that we are the victim of the war, of unprovoked war, of the neo-colonial war. So we also feel that we have this arbitrary by, by promoting these values of justice, of peace, as your Prime Minister in Samarkand said, that it's not an era of war. I mean, we do support this purely and, and fully, but unfortunately we have aggressive countries who question the existence of other countries, and then the question if of, of India's involvement as a, as a leader in the Global South, as a G20 presidency, I think that we hope that India would be uh, involved and engaged into global issues and challenges, economic challenges, energy challenges, nuclear challenges to a greater extent because the Ukrainian issue is a litmus paper today. Ma'am, how do you see India importing energy, uh, energy yeah. from Russia? How do you see India importing energy from Russia? I mean, look, we are not in the position of instructing India of, of uh, in their economic ties with other countries. We only think that it's crucial to diversify all of the resources, not only energy, but also military resources. Because what we see in my country, when you are dependent from Russia, they will always use this blackmail instrument. So I think that India should be pragmatic in diversing the energy resources, in diversing military contracts, in diversing political interaction. Uh, and we feel that there is an um, extraordinary time that we live in. And as my president, Volodymyr Zelensky says, extraordinary times need extraordinary decisions. So, of course, Prime Minister Modi, with his 3D uh, policy of democracy, dialogue, and uh, to my knowledge, it's diversity. I think that this 3D and no era of the war uh, and strategic uh, application is, is really, really important. So we hope that India and Ukraine would be, even though we are distant geographically, geographically, but we will become closer physically and politically and in many other ways.